Yo, what's good, yo, Tobe? <laughs> Welcome back to another chill Marvel Snap video. And today we have the new balance update for Zabu and Silver Surfer in Marvel Snap. And I want to talk about a couple things that occurred in this article here where the developers give their reasonings as to why they nerfed Zabu and Silver Surfer. I don't want to go into like deep details on my thoughts of the nerf. I mean, everyone's talking about that. Everyone's releasing deck videos. You can find a thousand of those out there if you really want to know like the impact that these nerves will have on the meta. Um, I definitely think they will have an impact on the meta. Um, you'll start to, I think it's a good time to play Marvel Snap now because you're going to see a lot of deck diversity. Um, you're not going to be seeing the same types of deck over and over, decks over and over again. Um, but, you know, will these cards still be good? I'm sure um, many people will try and make them work. Um, the bottom line is if these cards, let's say, were performing at like 60-60% as good as some other top deck, and they nerf these cards, I mean, that's going to have some noticeable percent decrease on the effectiveness of these cards winning games. I mean, just a matter of fact, right? So there's just no real possible way at all that these cards can remain absolutely busted in the top of the meta. Um, they might still be good cards. I'm not denying that. I think they could still be good cards. Um, but that they'll just be like this busted card still. I think that's impossible um, for both Zabu and Silver Surfer. But there's a couple other things in here that I want to mention that the developers talked about in here that really kind of you know bother me a little bit and point out a couple flaws in the Marvel Snap um, developers balancing issues. And one of those things here, you can see the changes here, Zabu went from a three two to a two two, and he only buffs by one now. And then Silver Surfer went from a three zero to a three two, and he buffs by two now instead of three. Um, so they talk about why they do balances. And this really kind of irked me a bit. It says Marvel Snap's content, Marvel Snap's content release mode gives our metagame a unique texture. By releasing a new card each week, we hope to consistently provide something new and exciting to look forward to for players. That requires a diverse metagame featuring opportunities for innovation and exploration. I mean, this is absolutely hogwash. Like honestly, it really is. Like that they hope to provide a provide something new and exciting for players no players 5% of the community are playing with these i mean this is w weird they really are under the impression that they release a new card every week for their community i mean that's absolutely hogwash no one gets the new cards nobody you never see them i think i've seen shauna or whatever the the uh kazark kazark uh you know card that plays along Kazar, the new one, one time. And I've played like well over a thousand games and I've seen it one time in a game. One time. I've seen um, that Shadow uh, Shadow King one single time. One time. I've never seen it again. Out of a thousand games, I've seen it one time. These cards are not, not being played by anybody. No one has these cards. So they're not, there's no constant unique texture. Like that's absolutely not true. The only thing that's gonna be adding texture is the season pass, right? So you don't get a diverse metagame. This is so bizarre. How could they possibly think this? I mean, every de everybody who plays this game is playing primarily pool three cards almost exclusively. You don't see rarely ever any five series five cards. So I don't know how they could possibly be saying this is a diverse meta. Like, who is this game really for? I feel like this game is largely, in a lot of ways, for the Wells. It's a really brilliant game. I'm hooked on it, I love it, but I don't have near all the cards to partake in this diverse meta game, right? And so, um, this really bothers me that they, that they talk like this is just a matter of fact um, aspect of the game when it absolutely is not. They release a new card each week in the Series 5, which no one gets, right? And so, then they talk about why they balance these cards and then they talk about um this card changes you know and like season pass cards it wasn't we um weakening these two season pass cards wasn't a light decision it's paramount that we protect our gameplay 
but our team also takes seriously that players trust us to be responsible stewards of that content. So these changes aren't meant to delete Zabu with Silver Surfer, just give other cards more room. Yeah, well, the problem is these cards people buy with money, right? And this is what Second Dinner's talking to. We don't want you to spend your money and then delete these cards. Like, that's not being fair to you. They're not being good stewards, stewards of the content. I agree with that. But what the problem is, is people who aren't spending lots of money on this game are waiting for Zabu to rotate into Pool 3, right? These cards go into Series 5 the month after they're released, and then slowly over the months, they fall into Pool 3. So by the time someone who's not spending tons of money in this game gets access to Zabu, they don't get to experience Zabu, right? Like everyone who is a whale or everyone who's willing to spend any, most people who aren't only buying the season pass are not whales. Like I kind of fall into that category. I do buy the season pass and I do like to throw a few dollars at the developers because they're providing so much um, entertainment for me and I want to tip them for that. But. You know, the Wells, they also have the great cards that go good with Zabu. Like, for instance, Darkhawk. Darkhawk is an absolutely busted card, and it's it's absolutely more uh, busted when you, when you have Zabu. Because he's a four cost, so he goes down to two. Now he's going to go down to three. But none of us have this card. So, or nearly none of us. I mean, the smallest percentage of the community have this card. And so really the only people that got to enjoy Zabu at its peak were the Wells. Like all the rest of us, we had to, we got to play with Zabu if we bought it, you know, in January, but only the Wells got to really enjoy it when it was most enjoyable, when it was at its peak enjoyment level. And all the rest of us don't. And especially those who didn't buy the season pass, they're being patient and they're waiting until these cars hit pull three and they never ever get to experience what Zabu and Silver Surfer were like when they were the way they were originally designed to be and I think that's a total and utter shame so it's more than just trusting people who spend the money it's also giving people in the community a chance to experience all these cards the way that they were designed to be experienced and I know that doesn't mean cards don't change but these are pretty major changes they're not going to play anything like they were in the past Silver Surfer might but Zabu is very much a different card. Um, it's not going to be at all similar to what it used to be, right? Even in the way that it plays, right? And so that's just a shame, I think. You know, and so the bottom line is for me, people spend money. They get to take advantage of all the wonderful aspects Marvel Snap has to offer. And then these cards get nerfed. It's probably going to happen with Dark Hawk. Right, this card might get nerfed. Shuri is probably going to for sure get nerfed. I can almost bet Shuri will get nerfed. Right now, I do own Shuri, but I don't own Red Skull. I don't own Typhoid Mary. I don't own She-Hulk. Um, so I have really no way to use this. And so by the time I do have those cards, she'll probably be nerfed too. Right, and I wanted to point to this poll here. If you look here on YouTube, there's a poll that uh, MTSZ Bootman um, he's a Marvel Snap content creator. He put out this poll where he says, do you have Bast or Valkyrie yet? This poll is asking if we have Bast or Valkyrie yet. And those are Series 4 cards now. They got dropped to Series 4. And look at 11% have Bast, 11% have Valkyrie. Only 6% of his community have both. 72% of his community have neither. Right, and there's 3,000 votes here. That's a pretty good amount of votes. And you see almost none of his audience has these cards. So who is he making content for? Right, like who is the content he's making making for? If he wants to make a video with Valkyrie and Bast, who, okay, you can watch it for entertainment, but it's not for you, right? It's for 6% of his community. Six out of 100 people get to enjoy it and actually enjoy the cards and use them. I mean, this is a major problem that Second Dinner has with their balancing issues. They only relaunch basically one card in the season pass. And if they change that card at all, that's in a sense very close to highway robbery, man, because your, your people are buying the card for what you printed it at and then you nerf it. 
and then you only have really one card you get in that in that season pass. Where other games, when an when a expansion comes out or a new pass comes out, there's multiple cards to earn on that pass. So if you nerf or change one, it doesn't feel so damning because there's a lot of other cards that you got for that season pass. The season pass got you a lot of different cards. So this is a major, major problem for second dinner. I don't know how they're gonna overcome this issue, um, but right now it definitely feels like Marvel Snap, the peak fun level is for those who are whales and spending a little bit of money are below the whales, but they're still having fun too. And then a lot of people are playing, but they're only really playing probably to collect their um, weekly credits. They're not gonna be able to enjoy the peak fun of Marvel Snap. Now, may they, they may be having tons of fun, but there's a level of fun they're not getting to experience. That's my point, right? Like everyone may be enjoying playing Marvel Snap and that's great. I think everyone, if you're playing it, you should be enjoying it. But Second Dinner is kind of keeping the peak enjoyment for whales and whales alone. And when they talk about how they have a diverse meta, that's just not true. That's not how their card game works. Because no, those cards aren't in the meta. Those cards aren't even being tried. And what happens is people try those cards and then like Shuri, they realize just how strong and powerful they are. And then what's gonna happen? Shuri's gonna get nerfed. How many of you have Shuri? I bet you if I did a poll and if there's not a whole lot of people watching, but if, let's say a thousand people watched, I bet you it'd be similar to this. Not even 72% have Shuri, maybe 72%, uh, maybe maybe uh, 11 to 10% have Shuri, but I'm sure 72% of you don't. And so the card gets nerfed and once again, you never get a chance to experience the card at its peak enjoyment. And that just could be a vicious cycle. Every fun card they introduced and they introduce ends up getting nerfed because it's too strong and none of us as the majority of the community ever get to enjoy the card at their peak so that's why i asked this question who is marvel snap really for who is this game really for um and there may be an ignorance is bliss part happening here on the side of second dinner maybe that's their approach like ignorance is bliss like you don't really know what you're missing out but i think that that's not fully true because when you're playing the game and sure it gets used against you and they drop a 30 power red skull that feels bad right because you don't have that card you can't go and practice that same strategy that was just used against you and that's really that's a feel bad moment right when you're getting when you're getting beat by cards that you have no access to right and so this is a major problem that they're having i think this this nerf sheds a little bit more light on it because this is a card that a lot of people have and now a lot of people won't get to experience and they only got to experience it for a few weeks what if you bought the season pass like week two or week four and you got to experience zabu for one singular week right i mean it's just a serious problem they have um so while marvel snap's a wonderful game they have this issue this balancing issue that i think um they're gonna have to address at some point in time so uh, those are essentially my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think below. Do you agree, disagree? Um, share whatever you feel down below. I always want, like to hear feedback. If you enjoyed the video, please toss it a thumb, thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed the content, toss me a sub, it's free. You can always change your mind in a different day. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great uh, day and I'll talk to you later. Deuces.